Nationalism is pride or patriotism in a certain movement, nation, or culture. One example of when this pride occurs and nationalism occurs is after 9-11, the attacks on America. The United States was fully confident in itself to destroy their enemies and without even thinking many people just said to go to war and that was a very good example of nationalism. Nationalism can sometimes mislead people when they have too much pride in their own culture or nation they believe that they're supposed to be better than others and this can lead to violence and war. Some groups have a horrible sense of nationalism. They feel that they are entitled to be better than everyone else and they have no consequences for being violent and angry. One group that does this is Al-Qaeda. They cause harm to many people because they think they are better than them. Hello, I am Kansas Jones and I would like to show you some negative effects of nationalism. That's Bruggen This is America. Yeah. This is your top around here. Kansas Jones here. I would like to show you uh, some positive effects of nationalism instead of the dirty, naughty, negative parts. America! <laughs> Jones here. I just want to show you a song that I think shows nationalism extremely well. It's one of my favorites by one of my favorite artists. Here we go. <laughs> Revolutionary War was one of the most positive effects in American history because it, just, it showed nationalism pride. It was amazing. It was an entire group of colonies ruled by Britain who stood up for what they wanted and beat down one of the most biggest powerhouses in that world. Truly, they they show for what everything was America was made for. Everything. I mean, everything. Napoleon Bonaparte used nationalism to conquer all the lands that he conquered. He told people it was for France, and he tried to use patriotism to get troops and resources and supplies, and that's how he succeeded in killing many innocent people and causing many wars in Europe. Hi, I'm Alex Israel, and I'm here to talk to you about nationalism. Some people use nationalism to do evil things, some people use it to do positive. But right now we're going to learn about people who have used it to do negative things. This is my professor, Thor Bagman. Thor Bagman. Bagman, sorry. He's going to talk to you about Adolf Hitler and negative nationalism. Adolf Hitler was one of the most evil men in the entire world. He wanted an Aryan race which meant blue eyes and blonde hair. But, for some reason, he went after the Jews. He put them in concentration camps and murdered them. Over six million Jews died. He thought that the Jews controlled all the money, and that's why German, Germany went through such a hard, hard depression. So, he decided he should eradicate them all. But now...